Okay guys, so this is 51 here. I was asked to take a look at Symbiote Supreme, who is somebody I don't use all that often. I have him as an R3 five star. I put in the three synergies that have listed uh, in his description. So that's Dormammu, I put in Mordo, and then I put in Venom the Duck because I happen to have him. Um, but he's kind of like the dark side image of Doctor Strange. So I'm going to throw him into uh, Realm of Legends Winter Soldier just because it'll give enough time to kind of test him out. But I don't really know how he works, but I did read the description, so I think I'm going to be able to figure it out. Um, as I understand it, he has three phases that he just cycles through every 15 seconds or so. Uh, first one is this Cthulhu's Cunning, um, and it seems to be the phase where he can have a, a power gain buff, which helps because his power gain is really slow. It's just like on a timer instead of actually getting power from blocking and from hitting. Um, that switches over to Null's Shadow, uh, which basically makes him um, a little bit like uh, Gwenpool so that he can't take more than 15% damage from any one hit. And then after that, he gets to what's my favorite, which is the Set Fangs. With the Set Fangs, as you can see, every single hit puts a bleed a bleed debuff on and although each each bleed stack doesn't do a ton of damage uh, it can stack really high and they do last a little while um, and then the power of the bleed and just like the power of any of his uh, his specials uh, are tied to the little purple spider circle there next under the under his uh, life bar um, that's genetic potential so whenever somebody's buffs expire or if you stagger them, then that number goes up. And then all of the damage that you do, all of the armor break that you do, anything that he does under the, uh, with his various phases, uh, it's stronger the higher that number is. Uh, but what he's really all about is once you get up to his special three. Uh, I cut out a big chunk because this fight took a long time because I didn't know what the heck I was doing. And as you can see, I almost got myself killed. Um, but here's what it's all about when you get special three it activates all three of his phases at the same time so that way he's getting power gain he's getting defense buff and he gets the set fangs um, and if you happen to already be in the set fangs uh, uh, blessing as it's coming around then it'll double and you'll get double bleeds um, which is really quite nice um, the only thing you got to make sure you don't do is after you use special three and you get all three blessings going, don't use special one. Special one will make all three go away and then it'll just go on to the next one that normally appears in the sequence. It's okay to use special two uh, because that won't reset it. Uh, and special two is also nice because it puts on some pretty decent uh, armor breaks. But basically special three, stack up the bleeds. Uh, that's my take on uh, Sim Supreme. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.